Um, I thought today was an amazing game for us. I thought Hopkins came out and did a really nice job, especially in their ride, gave us a lot of trouble. Um, but we stayed in the game and we were able to score in multiple different ways. Our defense came out right away in the beginning and played really well. And then I think we just really took it to another level in the third quarter and were able to get a lot of transition opportunities. I think, you know, the offense was outstanding today, shooting 25 for 36 and just really bearing their opportunities, especially these two, Megan and Emma. I thought they were just spectacular today and so fun to watch. But it was a great environment overall, a lot of fun, and we're going to use this momentum going forward into our game on Thursday. Um, yeah, I think, you know, for at least every year that I've been in the tournament, we get that like little two week kind of break where you get to really focus on yourselves and really push for that like final couple games you have left for your teammates. So kind of taking that time to really focus on ourselves and work on those little things to get a bit better um, has definitely been pushing us uh, for this game. Yeah, and just like the same thing, get, having the two weeks to get ready, it really just gave us the energy and excitement back to being able to play a game soon. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think especially coming back, playing at home, being around our crowd, you know, the crowd was excellent today. They were definitely a big push for momentum. And, you know, offensively, we were able to make shots that maybe weren't falling in the past couple games. So being able to have that, have defense make some stops, it was uh, really huge for us. Yeah, it was definitely a huge revival game. It really gave us a lot of energy coming out. And throughout the whole game, you could just really feel it. And I think it's just taking it game by game. We'll just see how it goes from here. <laughs> Honestly, not, there wasn't anything like different going through my head. I was kind of just out there having a great time, enjoying the energy, and really just playing like team ball. Mm -hmm. For either of you who can remember, what's the most goals you guys have ever combined for a game? Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Literally no clue. Did anything change for you guys in that third quarter right, as far as going back in the locker room and, and talking it out? And, and what kind of clicked in that first six nights? Um, yeah, I think going to the locker room, we kind of knew what we wanted to work on, what we wanted to do better going into the third. So kind of just really focusing on those and really making sure we're putting an emphasis on, okay, if we need this stop, we need to help in the clear or um, making sure we're just running our offense how we want to run it. Those were just things we kind of tried to focus on. Yeah, and we were just really focused on coming out hot in the third quarter. Sometimes we struggle with that and going in and everyone kind of being on the same page really helped us get there. Um, I think, sorry, um, I think, you know, I like, all, like a lot of those points, they don't come without my teammates, so um, making sure we can kind of keep putting up numbers like that between our whole offense will be huge. When we asked Kayla on, on Tuesday on our organization show about playing different teams that kind of haven't seen you, Hawkins is one of those teams, JMU is going to be one of those teams on Thursday. Do you find that, you know, better that these teams haven't seen you and don't know anything about you? So to say, I understand there's film out there and you can watch film, but it's a little different than playing you guys. Um, I would just say it's exciting, you know, being able to see a team that we haven't seen this season, but, you know, you obviously see them go on about their season. So I think just playing different teams, getting different looks, it's just an exciting time to be able to go into a game and have an idea, but, you know, be kind of prepared for anything. Yeah, and I just completely agree with that. It's, it's <laughs> exciting. I, I have no other words. It's just exciting playing different teams. No, it's okay. Fair enough. <laughs> we have time for two more. What would you say in the past two weeks in practice have you guys been focusing on that really, you know, helped you guys in this game um, and come forward? Yeah, you can start. Okay. Usually, I feel like yeah. you keep starting. Usually, oh. <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, I guess over the past two weeks, we've, like I said, we've been focusing on ourselves and kind of going back to ways we were playing earlier, making sure we're making certain plays on offense or we're making certain looks or having defensive slides a certain way and uh, kind of just coming together as a team in these past two weeks has been huge for us. Yeah, we just kind of went back to really talking about how to play like Syracuse ball and like we just want to play Syracuse lacrosse and play the same way we did in the beginning of the season. I think we really showed that we can do that.
what's next? What's the what's the mindset going in this game against JMU? Like, what are you guys looking forward to, and you know, how are you going to get the job done? Hmm. Well, we'll see how their game went, and then we'll figure out what we want to do with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, same thing. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yep. You guys Thank you. Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go back to questions for Coach Trainer. Coach, what did you think about Delaney and the Jets? Yeah, I, uh, in particular, Delaney, I think she had 11 saves at the end, 12 saves. Um, she just was seeing the ball really well. I thought defense played really well, especially in the beginning of the game. We went through a little lull in the second half, but um, I thought they played great. I mean, Hopkins is a really good team, really well balanced offense, a lot of threats. So I thought they did a nice job and were able to create turnovers to allow the offense um, to really be able to flourish. We struggled definitely in the clear in the beginning of the game, but made some adjustments in third quarter. They were awesome. Tyrell said series today, what can you say about their performance? They were pretty dominant out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were awesome. They, you know, Emma, I think, got a lot of momentum early off of the draw and just, you know, was just seeing the ball well, shooting it well, had a couple eight meters that she buried that were really important, I think, for us. And, um, you know, Megan was just aggressive and she was great off ball today, which I think a lot of people scout her as, you know, needing the ball. So they're just really dynamic. And I mean, you know, you look at our offense and some days it might be Meg Carney, some days it might be Emma Ward, some days, like today, it's the Tyrell sisters. And, there's just so many offensive weapons that we have um, on attack and from our midfield that I think it just makes us a really dangerous team and a hard team to stop. For you, was it a reset after these last two weeks, or, or what was the, the message to these girls today from the field? Yeah, I mean, we just talked about how we haven't had that amount of time since our preseason starting before our Michigan scrimmage, who we scrimmaged before we played Northwestern. So. It was just an amazing time to have with the team. We really focused on ourselves first um, and getting the group to come together and really being specific about the exact way that we wanted to play. And the girls are so bought in and they believe in it and it was awesome. And then this last week we were able to kind of prepare a bit for two opponents with UMass and Hopkins and ready for whoever we see. Um, so it was a great two weeks for the team. They were excited. It just they were itching to play another game, and I think you could see that today. Daniel, you know, a couple of turnovers uh, from Delaney Schweitzer early on in the mm -hmm. game, and then just a little bit of a slow start, I would say. What was you know the key turning point that you saw that you know Syracuse gained complete control? Mm -hmm. What moment of play, or what did you notice? Well, I give a lot of credit to Hopkins and their game plan and their ride. I mean, they, they did it against UMass, and UMass had a difficult time. And then today, same thing with us. But it was really just, you know, for us, it was just that belief and knowing that, you know, we're, we're all good and we are going to make mistakes and we are playing great opponents and just sticking with the game plan. And, you know, they were, they were awesome today. They didn't get frustrated. They didn't have any doubt. They just stayed, you know, stayed focused and ready and were able to make, you know, the next play. But I give Hopkins a lot of credit. How is it being able to rely on those players like a Megan Tyrell, like a Meg Carney at this time of year to have that in your back pocket? Yeah, I mean, they're such talented players, but I think, you know, the best thing about these guys is, you, you know, the names you just said, Megan Carney and Megan Tyrell, is they've been here for, this is their fifth year here, and they have a desire to win and to win a national championship. and. That is just such a, a crucial and tangible to be successful. And, you know, it's just, it's so fun to coach a team that has so much passion and desire and belief in themselves. And um, so it's great to have them on your team, of course, because they're super talented players. But just their drive and their belief and their passion is what Syracuse Lacrosse is all about. And, and they're just great ambassadors for the program. Yeah, I mean, every year is just so different and every team has their own story and, you know, it's hard to compare teams. I mean, I know there's players that have returned who have that experience from last year, but 
every team is so different, and this team is very unique. They're unlike any co any uh, team I've coached. And, you know, so we're writing our own story, and, you know, we'll see how it goes. But I'm incredibly proud of the team that I'm able to coach.